Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight because I am back in the great state of Kentucky. I'm going for overall victory number 1,075. I am down for the first time in the city of McDaniels, Kentucky. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> Big thank you to the owners, Chris and Emily, here at Porgy's Chow Wagon. Now, this restaurant is dedicated to Chris's father. This challenge is especially dedicated to him. His nickname was Georgie Porgy, so this is called the Georgie Porgy Challenge. Now, I have one hour to finish everything here. We've got eight specialty hot dogs. They've got 16 on the menu. I got a nacho dog. It's got cheese sauce, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and then tortilla strips. We've also got a jalapeno popper dog. It's got a bacon wrap dog. There's also cream cheese, a whole bunch of shredded cheese, and then some fried jalapenos as well. We've also got the El Jefe dog. That's got pulled pork, mojo sauce, pickles, Swiss cheese, and mustard. Chris looked up the German word for fat, fetty. So we've got the Das Fetty dog. That's got healthy bell peppers, healthy onions, sauerkraut, and mustard. Then we've also got the spicy luau dog, which is kind of Hawaiian. It's got their pork that's smoked here, pineapple jam that they also make here, jalapenos, and then spicy barbecue sauce. We've got the Baja dog, which is also bacon wrapped. That's got healthy lettuce, homemade pico de gallo, banana peppers, smoky chipotle aioli, which is made here just like their cilantro lime ranch. I'm pumped for this one. Their PB and J dog. We've got another bacon wrapped dog. It's got a whole bunch of peanut butter and then raspberry preserves. Last but not least, we've got a big one. It's called the King Dog, named after Elvis, but it is a bacon wrapped dog with a lot more peanut butter and then fried banana bites. I could have gone with either loaded chili cheese fries or tots or loaded barbecue tots or fries. I had to go with their loaded barbecue tots. Those have more pulled pork, onions, pickles, cheese sauce, spicy barbecue sauce, and then some white barbecue sauce as well. We've got all three of their major desserts. We've got a whole funnel cake, we've got an order of fried banana bites, and then we also have a whole bunch of fried Oreos. So in addition to all that, I do have to finish a 16 ounce drink. I, of course, if you're gonna eat like this, I went with a Diet Coke. I realized after I picked all my items that I didn't have any of their homemade chili, so I added this chili cheese dog, but I've got one hour to finish. If I fail, it's gonna be $75 dollars but if I win I'll get my entire meal for free I will get a sweet t-shirt dead to my collection and I will be the fourth person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame let's get this challenge started All right, I have not done a specialty hot dog challenge in a very long time, so big thank you to the owners, Chris and Emily, for having Katina and I down to take on this challenge. My friend, Joel, he was actually the first person to do this challenge. He actually did too. And then Raina came after him. She won the challenge. And then just actually yesterday, a guy named Eli, he beat this challenge too. But let's just shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's start off with the jalapeno popper, bacon wrap dog. Two down, now we're on to the spicy luau dog with the pineapple jam, I'm excited for that. Fresh raw jalapenos. That pork that they smoke here is awesome, that is yummy. This sauce is freaking spicy. It's good, but hot. That pineapple jam though is yummy on here. Definitely taste that. On to number four. This is another bacon wrapped one. I'm excited for this one. It is their PB and J dog with lots of peanut butter and raspberry preserves. Let's dominate. That's a lot of preserves. I love that. Uh -huh. 
we're done with four. I am loving all the toppings on these things, but big shout out to Porgies. These are awesome hot dogs. They're actually a beef and pork mixture, handmade and smoked here on site. This is the Baja. Let's eat. This one's gonna get messy. That is not low fat. That is yummy. It does have healthy tomato and lettuce. This is their king dog, bacon wrapped dog, fried banana bites, and then there's lots of peanut butter on here. Let's eat right at eight minutes in. Healthy bananas, just a little bit of breading and fried. This is required, so I'll start working on that too. Done with this one though, yummy. That bacon is crunchy because it was fried, but I am not very bright. That one had a lot of peanut butter on it, so it took a while to chew. But let's work on these loaded barbecue tops. A whole bunch of smoked here pork. I watched them weigh this on the scale. It was right at one pound. This is yummy. This homemade white barbecue sauce is yummy. Very good. All this cheese and all the barbecue sauce on here, this is going right down. This pulled pork is extra juicy too. I like it. I am all done with the loaded barbecue pork tots. Those were amazing, but I'm gonna pause all this and work on this chili cheese dog next. This chili does have both beef, meat, and uh, beans in here, yummy. Let's work on this German one, the Das Fett. This has the healthy green peppers and onions, and then sauerkraut, this is gonna be yummy. You can see that it's made from scratch. Flavor of it, you can just tell looking at it, it looks amazing. Not like a standardized hot dog you get at the store. Ooh, last bite of the Das Fett. This is the El Jefe, which I probably should have done earlier because this thing's freaking loaded, but it's got more pulled pork, which is great. Swiss cheese and then mustard. Lots of stuff on here. Let's do it. Last bite. This was a big one. I do want to point out, if you are interested in trying this challenge or any of the hot dogs, any of the awesome food they have here at Porgy's, remember, McDaniel's Kentucky is pretty much seasonal. They're only really open during the warm months. We are pretty much right on Rough River Lake. Like two million people come through this area, all for the lake, but then in the winter time, they say it's kind of a ghost town. Porgy's is not open at that time. So if you're interested, check, make sure that Porgy's is open, but it is time for dessert. We've got a whole funnel cake, deep fried Oreos, and then we've got not so healthy fried banana bites, and then we've got some chocolate sauce uh, to dip. So I wish I was getting a chicken sandwich. They've got chicken sandwiches. You can even make it Nashville. That all sounded good, but I don't know if I have room for that. I do have room for this Oreo though. I did ask, these are real Oreos, and this is yummy. All 
I can taste all the nutrients and vitamins and minerals in these bananas. They're gonna help all this food go down. I could have gone with caramel sauce too, but I went with chocolate. We're done with the banana bites. Now we're on to the funnel cake, made with love. All right, 28.50 in, let's get it. All right, last bite. <laughs> that was not a skinny meal, but that was extra delicious. It is not the record. It's the three or four time for sure. I don't know what Eli finished it in. I had an hour, but I finished just under 30 minutes, 29 minutes and 56 seconds. Yeah. Everything on that menu was so good, but actually Emily is gonna bring out just a little bit more. Uh-oh. You got this? Yes. In addition to all the hot dogs they have, uh, seven more hot dogs that I didn't get. Some of those are hot dogs that Katina did order. To check out her video, the link is down in the description. But I am not gonna eat all these right now. I'm gonna have them while I enjoy watching Katina. But this is an order of their fried shrimp tacos. You can get them as a burrito or tacos. Those look amazing, so I just wanted to show them off. And then this is one of their corn dogs, which is one of their smoked tier hot dogs covered in the funnel cake batter. And I can already tell you, that is yummy. Wow. I'm gonna have the last bites of that later, but yeah. Get here, They're, everything on the menu just looks amazing here at Porgy's Chow Wagon in McDaniels, Kentucky. Thank you guys all for being here. Big thank you to the owners, Chris, Emily, everybody here with Porgy's Chow Wagon. I, for winning, am going to get the $75 meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, and I'll be the fourth person with my name and photo up on their wall of fame. So yeah, even if you don't want to try the challenge, get here anyway, so much awesome food. Very reasonably priced, and if you're here around the summer, get here to the lake. Katina and I are gonna each be doing a pizza challenge at Giordo's Pizzeria in Anna, Illinois. So that video will be up next. But until next time, win before you begin. Thank you guys for watching.